Welcome to Breakthrough. Thank you for joining us. Be sure to click the subscribe button followed by the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. Hi everybody, uh, Pastor Everett. I just want to talk to you for a few minutes tonight and uh, I'm excited. I'm about 10, 10 minutes or so. I want to talk to you and uh, I'm just excited about all that God is doing. I hope that you guys are enjoying. Um, I, I, I want to tell you this. I, I really enjoy our prayer time on Tuesdays. We've been just praying scriptures back uh, from the, right from the Word of God because I know God is faithful to the, to the Word of God and we have to really participate in that in our own life. And that means that it's not always what we think about or what we perceive to be the truth that really is important. It's, it's what, what the truth actually is. Truth is something that we stand on. It's, truth is something that we align our life with. Uh, and so... Uh, we got to make sure that when we when we're not just reading the Bible or studying the Bible, but when when we're hearing the word, okay, we have to be seeking it, seeking it with all of our heart. In other words, I I I, I long for direction from the Word of God more than I long for my own uh, uh, my own direction or my own thoughts or the approval of others, because others sometimes will come in and say. Uh, negative things to you. Matter of fact, they, most of the time they always do because they have a different mindset, okay? And one of, the, one of the things that I love about the truth that we preach from the Word of God is it's the same for all of us, right? They're, you're not greater than me and I'm not greater than you. We're the, we're the same. We're, we're individuals, okay? Each of us created specifically. You can't take me out of my, my body, all right? and have another one like me. There's just, there's just, I'm the only one like me and you're the only one like you, which gives us hope that God is very specific when he, when he selects us, right? When he, when he adopts us into the family of God, when he calls us, we say, uh, that's a Christian word for, for God speaking to your heart and leading you to another place it's for a very specific reason. Like Moses, Moses was called from, a, from his mother's womb. You know, we got that song in our head. You know, from my mother's womb, he has chosen me. <laughs> He's called us, right? And selected us and made us perfect for ever, ever what it is that we're supposed to do for the kingdom of God. So we can relax a little bit and, and trust that God is working things in our life. He's, he's moving circumstances around. And it's, it's part, part of what I want to talk to you about tonight for a few moments is is something new <laughs> maybe you should say it with me I God I just desire something new in my life God God I want a new thing to happen in my life God I just wish something new would happen <laughs> okay and then, now I want to ask you something okay we, we just said that but define to me what new is what does that mean to you maybe maybe type it in the chat say uh, it's a new husband. <laughs> my, my old husband is, well, he's just ornery, you know. Or may, maybe it's a, a new job. Uh, maybe it's a, a, a new way of thinking, okay. Maybe it's a, a, a new routine, okay. Uh, but, 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 <laughs> I say but, but, but right there because I, I know, I know this is what I want you to think about too. When you get something new, it's just a matter of time before it becomes old, and we talk a lot about that in church uh, or, or when we pray uh, or, or maybe we hear from God and he says, I'm about to do a new thing, okay? And, and, we, and we think, well, that's going to be awesome. But the problem is, is that new things always involve change. Change. Change is something that, that, that is really invitable. I, I think it's always going to happen uh, in, our, in our life. And, and, and we, we always think, well, I want to just keep it the way it is. I want, I want everything to remain the same. Well, if everything always remains the same, you know, your hair color will never change, right? Your, your, your appearance, you'll never get a new outfit. You, you never get a new car. You never have any new relationships. And relationships are always complicated because new ones are always scary because we always look at the new relationship like the old one. You know, that person reminds me of something that happened back there. And, and what happens in our life is if we always are looking for new things in old packages, we'll never be happy and we'll never be fulfilled and we'll never actually 
do something great for the kingdom of God. We'll never actually be really what God really called us from our mother womb for. We'll always find ourselves doing the same thing, having the same attitude, and having the same circumstances constantly repeat in our life. And so how do we change that? I think one of the greatest things that, I can, I, that I've noticed in my life, and I, I think it's important, every time that I go to God and pray, I go to Him and I pray and I say, Father, Lord, forgive me my sins, because <laughs> I'm, I'm a big sinner, okay? And I need a lot of forgiveness. And so I go to God, and you know what? The Bible says that He is faithful and just to forgive us from all of our sin. Every time that we go to Him, there's, there's enough forgiveness in one drop of, of, of the blood of Jesus Christ to forgive me from all of the things I've ever done in my life and all of the things that I ever will do in my future. And so, and so as I stand here tonight and I say that, I, I notice something about my relationship with God. He always forgives me. And, and I wonder, I wonder, okay, and this is just me maybe just talking to you, but is, do you ever think that God thinks just for a moment, oh, I forgave him of that yesterday <laughs> and tomorrow or three days from now, He's going to do the same thing again. And, and yet he still forgives me. And see, I, I, I love that thought about, about our God because he, he is capable of forgiving me today, in my today, okay? Even though God stands outside of, the, uh, outside of time and he, he, is, he, is, he is omnipotent, all-powerful, right? Omnipresent, everywhere he is, everywhere at the same time. And he, and he has all knowledge and, and he knows everything that's going on. And yet he, he, he still finds himself in a merciful, as a merciful God. He forgives me. And the only answer to that is found, it's really found in, it's really found in, uh, I don't know if I'm ever going to get to my notes. He, what, what, is, what is so powerful about that is he is, is he, he is merciful regardless of what he knows. Amen? And I think that's a key, a big key to having a new life, to having a new thing happen in your, in your walk with God. Because God, we should have a peace of God in our heart. When we get saved, Jesus comes to live in our heart. He's all God, all man. He's the Savior of the world. And so, so if God can do it, if God can be merciful, if God can renew his relationship with me every time I ask him, shouldn't we have that same power through forgiveness, right, to, to also live that out in our life? You know, a few weeks ago, uh, I, I preached, uh, I think, six or eight sermons out of uh, Matthew 23, 23. And it said in there, uh, it talked about the law, it talked about tithing. Actually, it's the only verse Jesus was very specifically talks about tithing in the whole Bible. And he said, he said, uh, the weightier matters of the law are judgment, mercy, and faith. And we talked about that. We really blew that up a little bit. And we talked about how that, all of those, those words, judgment, faith, and mercy, come from our heart. They come from inside of us. It comes from in our mind. You know, uh, <laughs> we, we are always... Okay, yeah, okay, judge not, right, the Bible says. But I'm going to tell you right now, you're always judging. I'm always judging too. Matter of fact, we, we are judging each other. We're judging the taste of the food that we eat. Does it taste good? Does it taste bad? And so all of those things are inside of us. But I want to challenge you to go a little further. Let's, let's, let's let God do a new thing in our life. Let's let him do something new. And I'm going to tell you what it... The key, the key to that, that is, it's, 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 in, it's in letting God forgive you every morning. Understanding that His mercy is new today for me. Amen? And then I, I take it a step further and I extend that to someone else. I extend it to you. I extend it to them. And no, they don't deserve it, but neither do I. And so I, 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 I release everyone from yesterday. I release them from yesterday and I say, Father, I know that what you have done in me, I want to do in someone else's life. And that's, that's when we can be 
really true difference makers in the world around us. We can, we can, we can boldly say, the kingdom of God has come here in this moment. I, I brought it with me this morning, amen? And so then I don't look at the yesterday in that relationship, and I don't, I'm not going to hold you necessarily accountable, okay? All right, there are consequences. I'm not talking about consequences. I'm talking about this, this thing inside of us that we carry around trying to, to make everybody in the world line up with our perception of how the world should be. And I'm going to tell you, that's, that's not your job. And you know what? God doesn't do that either for us. Right? Amen. He, 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 he releases us. He forgives us. And that same spirit is inside of you and it's inside of me. Amen? So let me just pray with you right now. Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you for the mercy and grace that you have in our life. Father, we, we need mercy and grace in our life. Come, Lord Jesus, forgive us of our sin. Forgive us of our, our thoughts. Father, truly uh, start something new inside of me today and help me, God, to walk forward into all the other relationships of my life and begin to implement change, Lord, by my actions, Lord, by my, my thoughts, by my heart posture. And Lord, help me to forgive all of those others, all of the, all of the things that have gone on. Help me to release them now. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Can you just say this with me? Release it now. Release it now, okay? And so I want you to think about that. Uh, I want you to ponder that. I want you to pray about that. And I want you to see what God, what God is directing you towards. What does he want you to release? Amen? And I think if you would really understand that just a little bit more, you would start to smile. If, re releasing something uh, that you hold against others only reflects in your face because you begin to smile more you have more joy because now you don't have to hold them accountable right i wonder how many new things we have walked right past that god was bringing to our life because we were so bound up in unforgiveness and trying to hold everyone else accountable i release all of that right now right release it now in jesus name amen now, we want to connect with you. I don't know what platform you're watching this on, but don't stop right there. Hit the share button. Somebody needs this message. I want to challenge you to be a, a media missionary, right? Reach out. Hit share. Reach, let this message go out to someone else, and let's just see what God would do. We want to connect with you. If you go to My Breakthrough, uh, uh, that's one word, dot online. That's our website. And you can you sub subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook. We have a prayer wall. We have a, a cool shop with cool little t-shirts like this one I have on. Uh, you can, you can uh, help support the ministry, you know, and get a t-shirt in the process. Or uh, you can, uh, you can uh, just, just partner with us and help us to really take the word of God all around the world. Amen. God is really doing something really powerful and I'm just glad to be a part of all that he's doing. God bless you. Have a great night. We'll talk to you real soon.